Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we'll be going over the second aircraft setup for the Japanese carrier Akagi. Uh, disclaimer, I haven't actually used this setup yet, believe it or not, uh, mainly because it is very much focused on fighters. And honestly, I don't really play carriers to be air superiority, I play them offensively with torpedo bombers primarily. Um, this case, we have three squadrons of fighters, two squadrons of torpedo bombers, and only one squadron of dive bombers. Though we do have eight of them in that one squadron. Uh, if you remember from the last one, uh, dive bombers are okay at setting fires, but not necessarily the best at actually doing damage. It's the torpedo bombers that did the, a lot of damage. Um, and we just took out an entire squadron of those. So we have even less torpedo bombers than the fighters. We didn't even use them in the last setup because we only got one squadron, but we triple that this time for three. Um, so you can kind of play a little bit more air superiority with this one, but I don't really think that fits this carrier at all. But we're going to try it and we're going to see how it goes. All right, let's see what kind of game we have today. We're always going to have a carrier, but we got quite a few battleships, four of them. Two of them are Massachusetts, actually. That's disappointing. That has pretty sure the strongest, or at least one of the top three strongest AA battleships at this tier. Uh, let's see what else we have. I saw two Amagis, which actually a pretty decent AA for a Japanese battleship. Prince Heinrichs, they have a defensive AA. Oyoto is not really that worrisome. Cleveland, Wichita, both strong. Strash, I mean, the Fantastic are actually pretty strong as well. Okay, so pretty heavy AA game. Um, so right off the bat, we're going to use our consumable to get our aircraft out. I didn't use that last time uh, until later. So this shows you the best time to use it. We're going to come over here and capture A. We're going to play very defensively, I feel, this game. Because there's really not much I can do. Though, honestly... Well, before that, uh, we have 24 fighters, spare fighters, that is. 16 spare torpedo bombers and 18 spare dive bombers. One thing you could do is just use all of your fighters as anti-aircraft bait and put them with your attack squadron so they get shot down instead of your main attack aircraft. I might actually have to do that at some point in this game. Um, probably right off the bat, actually. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Let's try and still attack uh, targets that are soloed out, but we should be able to be fine. And let's not go through the island. Let's go around the island. All right. So, got our strike aircraft up. Let's put our fighters around the torpedo bombers. And what kind of ships do we have on this side? Heinrich and a Massachusetts. Of course it is. A lot of the ships are going to go in this general area. Don't want to do that. Go around there. Thank you. Um, so we'll be able to attack them through there. So let's see all the fighters around the dive or torpedo bombers. Let's bring the torpedo bombers over here. So yeah, if you have, if I actually had the other setup with the three squadrons of torpedo bombers, this would be very good because you'd be able to attack this center island here in the middle and just flood it with torpedoes. All right, let's see if we can nail this Prince Heinrich. Um, try and disengage with my fighters. I don't think it's going to work. Going to lose a lot of those. And Prince Henrik actually survived. Okay, you. All you fighters come over here. Yeah, we, see, we already lost almost two entire squadrons. Just in that one. Actually, no, we did lose two squadrons in that one attack. And we didn't even sink the ship. So yeah, we're going to lose a lot of planes here. Probably going to be very easily deplaned. The fighters do come up off the carrier relatively quickly, though. I do like that. Speaking of carrier, where are we? Here we are. Let's move into Alpha. Dive bombers are ready, but I'm not going to attack anything unless I have all my fighter squadrons out. And I think we're going to try and get some... Fires on this Massachusetts here. 
I know it's a strong AA ship, but it doesn't have any other supporting anti-aircraft defense right now, thankfully. I don't know why... Alright, game. Come on, work with me here. There we go. Alright. Sometimes the planes like to re reassign their own orders. So just be careful of that. There we go. And it looks like Massachusetts is going to run aground here. That'd be nice. Three fires, actually. That was pretty good. And almost 10k damage. Well, let's bring the fighters over here. Around the torpedo bombers. We have stopped our own carrier here. All right, torpedo bombers. Let's go attack. Though the other Massachusetts is coming up pretty quickly. Not the best angle, but that's the best angle we're going to get. Still got six torpedo hits, though. Fighters, come over here. Almost capped the base as well. Dive Bomber should be able to finish up Massachusetts as soon as they're available. And yeah, we're just gonna, I guess, play with battleships over here. Oh... Look at all that AA, that's ridiculous. <sighs> kind of want to go after Wichita with the torpedo bombers because she's by herself right now. But we have one chance to finish off this Massachusetts here real quick. Or at least set some fires. So they finish her off. I'm going to wait for... You know, our fighters to come back, even though we're already losing a half of our squadron. <laughs> Alright, let's just try for it. I doubt we're actually going to do anything, but let's see. Okay, one hit, one fire. But the entire squadron's destroyed. I'm going to start reversing out of here, actually. Maybe that Massachusetts will go down? We'll see. I'm also very concerned about these uh, battleships here because bike carrier is pretty close. Alright, we have pretty much no spare fighters anymore. We are all out. So what we have is what we have. Massachusetts is still burning, it looks like. There we go, finally. A decent hit. Um, okay, those are far enough away. I know I should focus on these, but that Amagi is pretty vulnerable right now. Um, but yeah, we're already under attack from here, so we don't have a choice. Let's get these up before we can't launch them anymore. And torpedo bombers, let's come over here. Let's finish off this Massachusetts here first. At least there's not two of them anymore. Uh, that does help us a little bit. If I make it out of this alive, I'll be very surprised, by the way. Okay. Squadron of fighters over here. And let's bring our dive bombers over here as well to see if we can set some follow-up fires. No fires yet, but we did get a good amount of damage. All right, fighters, come over here. Save as many as we can, all three of them now. And let's angle a little bit more. Really don't think we're going to survive this. I always rush them, but I don't really want to waste my ship like that. Let's bring our torpedo bombers out here. I'm surprised we haven't got set on fire yet. 
but I'm sure that will change relatively soon. Okay, bring the fighters over here. And bring our dive bombers back out as well. I'm sorry if uh, my commentary is not really the best right now. I'm trying to focus pretty hard because I want to win this. But I don't think I have the aircraft to do that anymore. But we are still going to try. Maybe I can hit both of them with this torpedo attack. Well, hit them, yes. But actually doing damage, maybe not. Oh, okay. I will take that. Um, can I actually bring aircraft out here? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let's put our fighters with the dive bombers one more time. See if we can finish off this Massachusetts. Though the Massachusetts is flooding. Alright, so we're going to actually go for the Imagi. We are still losing a ton of planes. But I don't think... Yeah, we didn't actually hit the Moggy with a flooding hit. But we now have two fires on her. <coughs> Bring our torpedo bombers back out. We did run into the island. I don't really care. Actually, let's just stop right now. Torpedo bombers are out. All fighters are now down, though. <laughs> and the Massachusetts actually is healing, unfortunately. All right, well, let's see. I could let the Amagi burn. Is she still burning? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, so you know what? We're going to have to go after this Massachusetts now. Also, we're the only one on this flank, so we don't have a choice. We're going to go all the way around, trying to avoid the AA as much as possible, and try and sink this Massachusetts here real quick while the fires still burn on Amagi. Then we'll use our dive bombers to relight said fires on a Moggy and finish her off. That way, or at least give us enough time to reload our torpedo bombers. We only have three spare dive bombers left and 11 spare torpedo bombers. <coughs> All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can hit both of these at the same time. Right, so the strike is off. Let's see. Yes, we finish off the Massachusetts. We got a couple hits on the Amagi as well. Let's see if we can get some more fires on her. And then honestly, that will probably be it for us. There is, what, one... There's another Amagi and the Akagi still. But hopefully we don't have to do too much about that. All right, so let's see if we can relight these fires. Two more fires. Nice. Uh, what does this Amagi look like? She's still there. She's almost got the Massachusetts dead, but there's another Amagi on that side. And then the carrier itself is way up in the corner. Uh, the Amagi should die to fires. If not, we can always come back with dive bombers. So let's bring our torpedo bombers over here and prepare for a strike on the carrier. How are we looking? Oh, she is healing though. Yeah, a dive bomber should be able to finish her off relatively quickly. All right, torpedo bombers, let's put them together. What's this Amagi look like? Still pretty healthy, actually. We might have to go and finish her off ourselves, which is fine. Yeah, we're going to finish off the Amagi with these dive bombers, finish off the other Amagi with the torpedo bombers. How is the carrier looking now that we have eyes on her? Any... Oh, she has a little damage. Okay, that works out. Okay, and let's just preset this because she's not going anywhere. Uh, 
awesome. We finished her off. Cool. And let's finish off this one now as well. Well, as best as we can. The angles on these torpedo bombers are not the best. But we still got enough hits to sink her. All right, now we can actually move again. Oh, the game ended. Awesome. All right, well, that was actually a pretty intense game. Let's see how we actually ended up doing. 306,000 damage. Four ships sunk, 28 torpedo hits, 35 bomb hits, 9 aircraft shot down, 10 fires, 7 floodings, 1 capped base, 6,666 space XP. We did 16,000, almost 17,000 damage in flooding, 67,000 damage in fires, 178,000 damage in torpedoes, and 43,000 damage in bombs. Pretty good game, actually. I didn't really expect our carrier to survive that, especially with Massachusetts and Moggies and every strong AA ship in the game at tier 8, um, but that was pretty good. Regardless, though, I don't really like throwing away the fighters that much. They didn't really seem to do that much anyways. We are still able to land quite a few hits on the battleships, even after we lost all of our squadrons, so I would still probably use the triple torpedo bomber squadron, and that's how I'll use her in the future, but that is how the mod 2 setup is. So if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for further content. And join me next time while we go over our next video. As of right now, I don't have any further content, so I don't know what we will be reviewing next. But potentially there will be something nice in the next update. So again, thank you so much and take care.